Hey kings and queens, this is Claudia here coming at you with a video from me and the fam. Um, they have come up with some questions to ask me to get to know me and the throne, of course, while I celebrate five years and where they see me taking the throne next. Stay tuned. So you ready for my questions? I guess, you know, you go, I mean, deep off in the, the jungle for the equation. I came up with the good stuff, it's okay. So my first question is, what do you think keeps clients coming here? Me. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so I think customer service. Uh, I create a good atmosphere. I make sure everything is clean. I make sure I'm always on time for the most part. If I run behind, I make sure I accommodate my clients for tardiness or lateness or whatever the case may be, which is not often, which is a great thing. I time my services and my clients um, based off each service. What makes them come back after that? Um, I guess um, conversation as well, the, the relationship I build with them. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, so yeah. And the results. Yeah. Absolutely, my results. That's what keep them coming back, on top of all that. <laughs> How is the throne different from other spas? Oh, see what I'm saying? I knew she was going to ask some stuff I like that. I had to. <laughs> How is the throne different from other spas? Um, because I can honestly say, as of recently, um, my menu did not look like, or do not look like anybody else's menu. Like, we don't have the exact same things. The things that I offer here is everything that I have a passion for and not just trying to make a dime or a dollar off of and everything that is offered here I am licensed or certified in. Mm -hmm. So I have, I'm have i very hands on entrepreneur, institution, and owner. You do it all? So, yes. Okay. The throne, yes. That's what's different from the rest. What made you come up with the throne as a concept? The throne as a concept. Um. The throne is a concept. I would have to say the way I can play around with or the way I did become creative with my services, my menu, um, my slogan, my motto, um, all that. So when I thought of the name, I had all that in mind of what I can do with it. So the concept and like like I like I answered what I don't what was the um why is it purple? Mm -hmm. It's also my favorite color, and it just so happens to be the color of royalty. So that matches, and it's a color that I want to come here and see every day. So all that, and also I call myself Queen C, so why not on the throne? So, <laughs> <laughs> so that as well. And I want everybody to be treated like kings and queens they are, which is my slogan. Okay. So yeah, that's why I like that concept. Because we all kings and queens around here. Always. Always. Yo, sure. <laughs> Speaking of, I can't stand you. <laughs> what made you choose the services you offer? What made me choose the services I offer? Kind of go with how my spa is different. The services that, every service, like I said, that's offered here or that I offer, I took the time, the money, the energy, and the knowledge to um, learn it, perfect it, want to offer it here. Now, some of them I got certified in that you're not going to see on the menu, and I just felt like that wasn't me. And I wasn't just going to make a dime or a dollar off of it if it just was not me because I am the Throne Aesthetics and Spa. So it had to represent something that I have a passion for, which is this profession. And I didn't want to offer something that I'm just not going to put 100% effort in. Mm -hmm. So that's why. That's why I offer the services I do because I love each and every service that's offered here. And I'm certified and licensed in each service I offer here. I don't play with my profession. <laughs> As you should. As I shouldn't. Girl, how many more questions you got? <laughs> two more, <laughs> two more. <laughs> okay, speaking of services, what kind of services do you offer here for people like me, teenagers? Teenagers. I always tell my clients, parents, to book them coming to America. That's the 30 minute facial. I don't feel like um, teenagers have 
really big issues. I know they probably have really bad acne breakouts, but most of that is hormonal. So we can get them um, started on the right path. I make sure I have a conversation with them about um, what they should be doing at home because that's the most important part. They're going to go through uh, changes. So what we may do oh, um, today may not work next month because their body is always changing. Puberty is something else. I know we all know. So with puberty, some people experience acne. So with that being said, I let them know the base that they should be doing is having a skincare regimen for morning and night, and also washing their pillowcases, washing their phones. If they're in a sport, make sure you're spraying the solution I gave you in between sweat sessions, taking off your helmet, spraying it again, dabbing with a towel, and yeah, so stuff like that. So the services I offer here, well, I start them off with the coming to America facial, as well as a take home regimen. The do's and don'ts as well. Yeah. Okay, last question. How is it as a black esthetician here in Mississippi? God dog girl. <laughs> <laughs> How is it as a black esthetician here in Mississippi? I'm not gonna lie, it started off rough. That is a very good question, by the way. Thank you. Um, but it started out really rough. It still sometimes has its moments because here in Mississippi, I have to educate my um, people on what an institution is. And then I have to educate them on the importance of an institution. And then I turn around and have to educate them on the importance of skincare and what they're doing wrong. And sometimes I have to tell them what grandma told them wasn't right all these years. So it is a little hard, you know, so yes. As a black institution in Mississippi, all that goes into play. But basically just educating them, telling them why they should be invest in their skin or why they should basically trust me with their skin. So that is important. So yeah, in Mississippi, you know, we always last in everything. So I make sure that I'm patient with, with everybody, no matter who walks through the door. I have to be patient with them and make sure they know um, why they should be patient with themselves mm -hmm. as far as skincare and the results don't happen overnight and that is sometimes hard as well because some people want quick fixes especially when they see the the price but i feel like i'm pretty reasonable but you know they want quick fixes and i have to let them know that it doesn't always work that way so yeah being a black esthetician in mississippi has its pros and its cons but it's definitely changed over the years this profession is starting to be more known, more popular. Now the end thing, you got all these ladies want to go to school for it and I salute them. I want them to keep going because you know, the more the merrier. I love it. I do love it. That's why I'm always open to answering any questions from any inspired institutions um, other than what school I went to. <laughs> I don't answer that one, but I'm always open. <laughs> to anything else, you know, they may have how, you know, what I like and dislike about the profession, cause you're gonna have that as well. So I always answer any question, but that one. So you're supporting your fellow esthetician. I'm supporting my fellow esthetician and inspiring ones. Okay, okay. So you know prom season's coming up, right? Mm -hmm. Do you have any recommendations for skin preparations that teens can do in order to get ready for prom? Good question. And I've already had two clients already. Prom season is definitely here and in full effect. And what I tell my client's mom is to come see me at least a week or two prior to prom. Because some of them, of course, have acne breakouts. The reason why they want to come to me, they want their skin flawless. So we need to get them prepared for their flawless um, look and for their big day, you know. So what I tell them, I, I start them off with the facial, I do their extractions. And you know, extractions could take some time to um, heal as well as the inflammation that go, you know, goes on with you know, extraction, you know. I tell them to come in, I make sure they're on a regimen, they stop using soap, make sure you're using a cleanser, make sure you're using sunscreen, make sure you're washing your phone every day because what I'm having you do at home versus what I've done here, you need to elevate that and take that to the next level. So. I've already sometimes opened up your pores more, so make sure you're doing a st strict regimen of cleaning everything, um, wearing your sunscreen, doing your vitamins, and um, 
yeah, washing every day, twice a day, and not touching your face, and um, what else? Not touching your face, because that's what teenagers do a lot. Mm -hmm. um, what else? Stressing. Over their big day, tell them to calm down. <laughs> that can cause it as well. So they'll come down and um, oh, washing their pillowcases as well. Wash your pillowcases. Cool water will help calm down the pimples and, sp and speed up the healing process of the after the extractions. Because mm -hmm. you know, they can be inflamed. So yes, cool to cold water, no hot water on the face leading up to prom. Okay. Absolutely.